do beetles eat? Uh, plants and animals that are alive. Good. For 11-year-old Mac Upchurch, reading is a struggle, and the root cause of Mac's dyslexia is a mystery. The Dyslexia Research okay. Trust okay. says the condition affects everyone differently. Um, That's made identifying who would benefit from deep intervention extremely difficult. But researchers at Stanford University may have made a breakthrough in identifying which children will overcome the handicap. What we found was with over using these brain imaging methods, we were able to predict with over 90% accuracy which child would learn to compensate on a one-to-one -one basis. Researchers know that the brains of some children can learn to compensate for the disability. But which children will respond and what parts of the brain are doing the heavy lifting are still unanswered questions. I think it, it has yielded accurate results that there is a, a brain-based marker that may predict outcome. We, however, we don't know whether increased activation in the right frontal region actually reflects changes in reading processes or some other cognitive process like attention or working memory that may also be involved in reading. But little Mac is responding well to tutoring and he's expected to eventually accomplish average reading skills. But Mac's mother says had his outlook been bleaker, she would have sought out additional resources. If I knew that your re although I don't think this, but if I knew that your reading skills were not going to improve, I think that we would have to really start relying a lot more on technology and trying to figure out how we were going to make it work. And that's where the research underway at Stanford comes in. If we can scan each child before they go through an intervention, we can look at their brain patterns and say, oh, maybe you will be most suited for this intervention. Maybe you will be most suited for this other intervention. And we might be able to one day individualize interventions. So Researchers say their work won't change the lives of people with dyslexia now, but hope that one day it might help complete the picture of how the human brain works. Rita Foley, The Associated Press.